Hey guys, this is Lindsay from Sweet Geeks. Today I'm going to be showing you a fun, simple, and easy Memorial Day treat that you can make for your family. We are going to be making pretzel rods dipped in candy and also some Oreo lollipops with a little patriotic twist. Alright, so the ingredients you're going to need for today's treats are a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper or wax paper that fits in the bottom. You're also going to need some lollipop sticks. You'll need any kind of Oreo, but since we are doing a grill out this um, weekend, I decided what better than s'mores Oreos. If you haven't had these, you should. They are amazing. You're also going to need pretzel rods, any kind of sprinkles that are festive. I did um, red, white, and blue sprinkles, and I got these from the dollar section at Target. Everybody loves Target. You'll need a measuring cup and a spatula for your melting chocolate. And then, of course, you're going to need melting chocolate, and I found these at or not these, but this package at Target actually. And they also have the melting disc. And you can get those as well, but this is really easy. You melt it right in the tray in here. And those are the ingredients that you're gonna need. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is grab your melting candies. Mine come in this handy dandy little tray. And it says right on the front that you can melt and make in the microwavable tray. And this is how they come. This one at least it comes in a big old block just like this so i'm going to microwave this for i believe it was 60 seconds yep 60 seconds and then it says to stir thoroughly and then if we need to we do it in 15 cents 15 second increments until it is nice and smooth and then we're going to take and we're going to pour it right into the pyrex glass um, measuring cup so that it's easier to dip the things into Okay, so our candy melts are nice and melted and they're really smooth. I checked, you can check the consistency by um, just moving your spatula around to make sure it's all nice and um, evenly melted. And then I'm going to take and pour it into our Pyrex glass bowl. Or technically it's a measuring cup, not a glass bowl, but who cares? Make sure you get all in there. We don't want to waste any of this delicious candy. Got this really fun pink spatula yesterday at the store, and my husband made fun of me, but now it looks really cool on camera. So. Alright, and we are going to get ready to start dipping our pretzels and making our Oreo lollipops. Now that we have our candy that's melted and we've put it into a glass measuring cup, we are going to use this to dip our pretzel rods. And how you do this um, is I like to lean the measuring cup over a little like this, and then you take the pretzel stick and you dip one end in and you spin it like this to get about half of the pretzel coated. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick this up out of, the, out of the melts, and you really wanna drizzle all of that extra candy off. If you don't drizzle the extra off, it will drip into um, your container that you're trying to put the sprinkles on in, and also it will get all over your pan, and it will just make a big mess, and I know from experience. All right, so let's see. Then you want to take it and spin it so that the um, candy will go back and distribute back onto your pretzel. You want to do, you want to work kind of quick at this because this candy does harden up quickly. So I'm going to grab some of my sprinkles and just sprinkle it over the top. And I'm using the tray that the candy, the melting candy came in. And that is just because I know I can throw it away and so I don't have to worry about it. So once the, you have the sprinkles on there and it's coated the way you want, you're just going to lay it right down onto your parchment paper. And you can see, 
just lays nicely. You're going to do this for um, however many you want to make. And you can do all different sprinkles. I really like the non pareils I think they're just so cute, and I like that they're red, white, and blue. And I really like the um, regular sprinkles, or I think people call them jimmies. I'm not really sure what that is. I've, I've never called it that, so they're sprinkles to me. So you want to get all this off, like so, spin it, okay, and then you're going to take these, drizzle all over, you can spin your pretzel as you do this so that you can get it nice and coated, run away sprinkles, alright, and then I just like to lay it the other way so that they do not stick to each other. And then you can do as many as you'd like. All right, the next thing we're going to do is to make the Oreo lollipops. And for this part, you're going to need, obviously, the Oreos, whatever ones you chose. Like I said, I'm using these awesome s'mores Oreos. They've got some marshmallow and chocolate in the middle. And then you need your lollipop sticks. Okay, and before you stick the stick inside the Oreo and just dip it, you actually have to do a step first to make sure this Oreo doesn't fall off the stick when you dip it in. So you just take the end of the lollipop stick, dip it in your chocolate, or melting candy, I see, it's kind of like chocolate, and then you take and you're going to stick it right in the middle of your Oreo. And what you want is that little pull of melting candy right here at the end. Because what that is going to do is going to act like a glue. And it's going to hold our Oreo together when we go to dip it in. But we're going to do some of these first. And then we're going to pop them in the freezer for just a couple minutes, about five minutes. And um, then we're going to come back and we are going to dip them into the chocolate. All right. So now that your Oreos have come out of the freezer and they, uh, the stick part has hardened up inside of them, you can see it's pretty strong. That's what we want because then the Oreo won't fall off when we go to dip it in the melting candy. So um, when you dip the Oreo in, it's also a good idea to lean it so that you can cover all the sides. And what you want to do is you want to stick it in, twirl it, make sure you coat all the sides and of the bottom where the stick is um, inside of the Oreo. And then when you pull it out, you're going to just tap it on the edge gently. And this is going to help get out, or get off rather, the extra melting candy that is on the Oreo. You don't want too much because then it becomes heavy and the Oreo could potentially fall off of your stick and we don't want that. And it also makes your sprinkles slide off and that would be sad. So once the extra is off, you can see it's nice and smooth. You're going to take your sprinkles. You're going to sprinkle them all over the front of your Oreo pop lollipop. The reason I don't put it on the back of mine is because that's going to lay down anyways. And so the sprinkle, you're not even really going to see the sprinkles. So I just do the front and then I take it and lay it right on my pan. And then we can pop these right in the freezer for about five minutes to set up the candy and then we are good to go. All right, there you have it. Some fun festive Memorial Day treats for this weekend. If you have any suggestions for other things that you might want Sweet Geeks to cover, make sure you comment below. And also, of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can see all the other videos that we plan to post. If you want to connect with me on Instagram, you can follow me at Just Keep Teaching, and feel free to tag me in your videos too, or your uh, photos of your creations. I would love to see those. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.